Hey, it's Chris Allingham with Virtual Rubber Bullet. Today I'm reviewing Duke's brisket strips. Um, let's call this for what it is. This is jerky, although Duke's doesn't call it jerky. They call it brisket strips. I was in uh, a store called Bevmo. If you live out here on the West Coast, you've probably heard of Bevmo. It used to be called Beverages and More. It's a, kind of a warehouse store for beer and wine. And in that store, uh, there's a little area where they have foods that go with beer and wine, like chips and dip and charcuterie and cheese. And they have other snacks like jerky. And of course, with my finely tuned barbecue sense, I'm always looking for barbecue products. And of course, the word brisket just jumped right out at me in this package. And um, at that store, I found um, these two versions. This one is called sea salt and pepper. So this would be like the basic version. And then they have one here called Honey Bourbon, which looked kind of intriguing. And there was a third one they didn't have. I had to buy it online at the Duke's online store. It's called Chipotle Barbecue, appropriately enough. Um, at Bevmo, these things were really expensive. They were $9.99 for 2.5 ounces of jerky. But if you go to the Duke's store, um, they sell these for, I think it was like $6.79 per package and maybe it's $6.99. Um, we'll put the price up on the screen. Um, and if you ordered $25 worth of product, you got free shipping. So I ordered a few of these and got free shipping and gave away some of them in a prize drawing that we had for Christmas 2018. And the others we're gonna try here today and give you a review. So, as far as the packaging goes, there's a lot of uh, a lot of words on here that are going to try to justify the price of $6.79 or $9.99. Um, freshly crafted smoked meats, 100% shortcut free, made with 100% grass-fed beef. Of course, sea salt, that's a premium salt, right? Not just table, table salt and pepper, right? No, no, it's sea salt and pepper. Crafted with sea salt and cracked peppercorn. Slow smoked with a hickory hardwood blend. On the back, again, a lot of words. Um, freshly crafted with sea salt and cracked peppercorns. 100% grass-fed beef brisket and a picture of a little cow here. Hickory hardwood smoke blend. Small batch care. And there's a batch number here. This is batch case quantity 376. I hear the 376 was a very, very good batch, so that's good to know. Beef raised with no hormones administered, no MSG, gluten, liquid smoke, or added nitrites, except those naturally occurring in sea salt and celery powder. Um, there's nutritional facts here. We'll put those up on the screen for you to take a look at. And then an ingredient list of beef, cane sugar, sea salt, celery powder, that's how they get their curing agent. Uh, spices, garlic powder, spice extractive, and onion powder. It's distributed by Duke's Meats out of Boulder, Colorado. And their website is Duke's Meats, that's all one phrase, D-U-K-E-S-M-E-A-T-S dot -E -E com. Well, I'm going to crack these open and uh, I'll give these a taste and let you know what I think about these. So each of these package has a quick open thingy and of course they don't always work, so I do have a pair of scissors here just in case we have a equipment failure, but that one seemed to sort of open up. And inside we have a bunch of little tiny pieces. This is about, that's about the biggest piece that's there, and that's about two inches long. Everything else is little, little tiny, little tiny bits. The little tiny guy there, you can almost hardly see that. There's a big piece. So this, this particular package at least contains small, I mean, I can basically take these and hold these in my hand. And you can see that these are just sort of nothing more than about two inches long here. And a lot of them are little, little bits. Here's a photo of the pieces coming out of the salt and pepper bag. Little itty bitty pieces. We'll see how that goes in the other packages. Maybe that's, for the course. So let's try it. 
The good news is here, I won't have to cut these into small pieces. I brought scissors for that too. We'll try this. This is the sea, sea salt and pepper. It's kind of a somewhat dry and jerky. It's not super dry, but not super moist like some of them are these days. In between, I can chew it. It's got good beef flavor. It's not particularly strong. I don't get a lot of smoke. But of course it is just salt and pepper. I get the salt. I don't really get too much pepper. I'm not getting any heat from that. So that's a nice little piece of jerky. I don't know that that's particularly special, but it does taste good. Let's move on to the honey bourbon. That one zipped right open. The trick though is being able to find the top. There we go. To find the zipper at the top. There we go. Now this one is quite different. Look, this has much longer strips. So maybe there's some variation in how those are cut up. That's at least about a three and a half to four inch long piece of jerky there. And it looks like everything inside is roughly the same. I mean, there's, there's actually some fairly large, fairly large pieces in here. So that's kind of what you'd expect from jerky. I'll take a little piece off of this one. This is sort of the same texture as the other. Dryish, moistish, but not wet and not ultra dry. I'm not really getting any honey. I'm not sure I'm getting any bourbon. This says slow smoke with bourbon cask and hickory blend. I'm not getting a lot of smoke. I'm not getting any sweet. I'm not really identifying anything as, like bourbon. It does taste different than the salt and pepper. It tastes less, much less salty actually. Um, that is not particularly special. Let's move on to the last one. This is Chipotle barbecue. And that one zipped right open and gave me an easy way to get a hold of the zipper. So at least one out of three wasn't too bad. And this one is more like the second one. Well, actually this is in between. So this has this has some, some pieces about like that. That's about maybe two and a half inches long by maybe an inch and a quarter wide. But there are some small pieces in here as well. This is maybe somewhere in between the first and the second bags. So let's try this. This has more of a, actually more of a dusty finish to it, interestingly enough. Maybe that's the Chipotle, I don't know. Crafted with finely crushed chipotle peppers, slowly smoked with plum and hickory hardwood blend. Once again, I'm not really getting any smoke flavor that I can discern. Not very much salt. Softest texture. Somewhat moist. Um, yeah, now I'm getting the pepper a little bit. As I, oh yeah. Here comes the heat, <laughs> feeling that at the back of my throat. So there definitely is some pepper there. I'm getting it. The ingredients here are, let's see, beef, cane sugar, water, tomato paste. So there's a little tomato-y, I did get a little tomato-y flavor there. Sea salt, spices, celery powder, a little bit of vinegar, garlic, onion, crushed chipotle, chilies, chili powder, garlic powder, molasses, and onion powder. This one does seem to have the most complex flavor of the three, um, and there is a little bit of heat on the back end. Not up front, but on the back end, still feeling that a little bit. Okay, so I'm ready to render judgment on Duke's brisket strips. Uh, I've got a very sophisticated judging system. I have a thumbs up, I have a thumbs down, and I have sort of a variable in between positions, sort of sideways, a little bit up, a little bit down. So, uh, Duke's sea salt and pepper, I'm gonna give this a slight thumbs up. 
I like the saltiness of it. I like the good beefy flavor. I like the texture of it. Uh, I didn't particularly like the piece size of this package. It was kind of small little bits. I really didn't get a lot of pepper flavor. But of the three, I think this is the one that I would enjoy eating the most. I'm going to give a thumbs down to the honey bourbon. I don't get honey, I don't get bourbon, um, I don't get salt, and I don't get smoke. So, sorry, this one I would skip. And then finally, uh, the Chipotle barbecue. I'm going to give this one a sort of split the difference. I think if you like Chipotle and you like a little bit of heat, you might enjoy this. Um, not particularly salty, but really not peppery. Um, and not particularly smoky, so this is really about, I think, the, the chipotle and the chili powder flavor and a little bit of tomato flavor that this one has. But, um, so my favorite, sea salt and pepper, my next favorite, chipotle barbecue, and my least favorite, honey bourbon. Well, that concludes my review of Duke's brisket strips. I hope you enjoyed seeing that. If you have ideas for other things you'd like me to review, please let me know. You can contact me at the email address you see on the screen. And make sure to check out my other videos on YouTube. Please make sure to like the videos and subscribe if you would. I'd appreciate that. I thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.